polyoxymethylene, acetal copolymer, polyformaldehyde, delrin, all of these names describe the same family of thermoplastics. But whatever you call it, these materials are durable, wear-resistant, and dimensionally stable, which makes them excellent for engineering applications and a joy to machine. So today on Material Monday, let's talk about some feeds and speeds you can use to machine Delrin. And yes, you can tell I was genuinely recording this on a Monday because the first thing I did was crash my Nomad straight into my stock. That's embarrassing. Anyway, with our 102 uncoated 8th inch end mill, let's do some pocketing. 10,000 RPM, 40 inches per minute, 0.04 inch depth of cut, 50% step over. You don't need to do much for material entry, a simple vertical lead in or even straight vertical plunge will do just fine. You will notice it gets a little chirpy in the corner, that's pretty normal for pocketing tool pads. If you want to do a better job of limiting your spindle load, you can opt for an adaptive toolpath, and here I'm using 10,000 RPM, 60 inches per minute, a 0.05 inch depth of cut with a matching 0.05 inch optimal load. This is a very comfortable speed, though you can be much more aggressive if you don't mind the machine sounding a little angrier. And lastly, contouring or slotting, 10,000 RPM, 30 inches per minute, 0.03 inch depth of cut. I backed off on the cutting parameters compared to the pocketing feeds and speeds just to keep the machine sounding happy, but again, you can be more aggressive than this if you want. And if you keep 10,000 stock to leave on your walls and you come back with a conventional finishing pass, you'll have super clean walls that look excellent. Delrin is such a joy to machine, and if you can get your hands on some, I highly recommend giving it a try. It cuts super easily, so you should be able to trial and error your way to good cutting parameters for other tools as well. Thanks for dropping into this week's Material Monday episode. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.